Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and uh, we're gonna talk about this little thing here, the uh, Texan AN200 uh, medium wave loop, and it comes in this little box here. So this is a tunable medium wave loop antenna, and it is not very expensive, uh, thirty some dollars on eBay. I uh, purchased it from an Anonco, the uh, well-known eBay uh, seller of Texan and shortwave radios in general and all sorts of shortwave gizmos and gears, electronics. So you get this little loop which is, by the way, very beautiful. This actually looks nice and it, you know, it doesn't look, it, you know, antennas are always kind of complicated because they all sometimes that weird look to them and you're like yeah that is so darn ugly that I don't want to have that in my home well this is beautiful actually this is a very nice loop antenna it is tunable so we got the tuning button right here it is from 500 something like 520 kilohertz up to 1710 kilohertz so it is made for medium wave only the way it works you put it next to a radio so you'll take a portable receiver on medium wave for example and uh, once it's you know you're tuned into a frequency well the antenna is made to be put next to it uh, I've seen a lot of people say oh, put the radio in the loop it's not made to put in the loop yeah it works in the loop of course if you can shove it there but uh, you know this is rounded it's not made to be in the loop it's made to be next to the loop at a 90 degree angle from the main uh, ferret inside the radio this is how it works the tuning, of course, you tune in to get a better signal and look at some of the videos that I already posted with that. And of course, there'll be more this week because I'll be using this with other radios. So what do I think of this thing, actually? Uh, my honest opinion is that, first of all, it's worth getting one. If you've got portable receivers that you use for medium wave regularly, uh, this is worth getting one of them because they're not very expensive and it, it actually works very well now here's the thing if you got desktop computers the computers desktop radios with long wires outdoor this might not be of great use except there's one thing the little thing that's kind of nice if you got an outdoor wire and tune medium wave one of the things you might know is that if you actually inject that wire antenna in this little plug here well that loop will actually couple with the ferret in your radio and actually give you a nice um, you know, wire antenna reception on your portable receivers because most of them either have no antenna plugs or connectors or the connector on it, a lot of these are for shortwave only. doesn't work on medium wave. So you can actually add that capability of a wire antenna coupling it with this antenna uh, but you'll have to, um, you know, have the plug to plug in your wire antenna within this little connector here. But if you don't have a wire antenna or anything, you got portable radios, you use the ferret inside the radio for reception, this is great. The better the radio, the less of an advantage you'll have, actually. And that I've actually noticed on many of my radios. The better the radio in medium wave reception, the less it's going to show how good it is so it probably has um, it's 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 performance as a, a point where if you've got a really good radio and a good ferret and it actually performs well you might not have an added bonus of getting this that said almost every radio I've used in the portable radios and I'm going to continue testing with other radios have benefited from actually using this uh, loop antenna from Texan. So for most cases this antenna will improve your reception. There are exceptions also to the rule with for example my XH data D808. It doesn't couple with it. It doesn't couple well. So you know it's kind of there are and they do say in the manual that in some rare cases there might be radios that don't play friendly with this antenna. No batteries. This is only receiving by the loop so the loop has of course turns of wire and the fact that you tune it with here you tune it to the frequency you're listening to actually 
this reacts and um, the antenna will actually resonate to the frequency and medium wave that you're tuning and that will be coupled to your receiver no need to plug it in uh, you see here there's a plug for receivers that you can actually plug in there's a little wire uh, that comes with it to, to plug to your radio but for a lot of radios that have no plugs no sweat you don't have to plug it in because just by coupling which is a magnetic way an electromagnetic way of actually uh, having this antenna react with the ferret within your receiver this is gonna work great it's very directional so that's why you want to turn it but you'll have to turn the radio at the same time so if you are using it and it's good like this you want to tune something else you'll have to move the radio relative to the antenna always to keep the same angle and each radio is different you'll see that there are places where you actually will put this antenna in a specific way that will be better and each radio is different so some is you no know, perpendicular some will be parallel it all depends on the ferret and the, the interaction how the interaction is going between the antenna and the radio um, a lot of you have seen the videos and some of you say well you know it seems to amplify the noise and uh, in it well okay here's the thing the videos that I do are are did are kind of a little difficult to uh, really see the difference because often you'll see that it increases the station but yes it does increase certain types of noise so if you have noise sources that are near you this will get the noise sources so if you're it's very noisy because of a, a device in your home when you actually turn this you'll see that this device this antenna will also amplify the noise of that device but overall in a quiet environment or if you're far away from some of the noise sources this amplifies the signal more than it amplifies the noise sources so that means you are getting a better signal to noise ratio with this loop there are certain types of, of noises also that this antenna will pretty much be immune to it all depends on the types of noise the distance you are from that noise source and of course you'll have to find a, a, a place where you got to you know set up and have this work uh, the best that it can but in pretty much every test that I've done and the videos that I, I posted are sometimes difficult to interpret because of the noise uh, you know the quality of the audio going into the the camera or the phone that I'm using uh, it's kind of difficult to sometimes see the difference but honestly almost every radio I've used the station comes in much more strong uh, stronger it actually is if, if there, there is an improvement in a signal to noise ratio the station will come in better and even if the noise is amplified it's not going to be amplified at the same level so you'll have a little more noise but you'll have a lot more signal meaning you'll have actually a clearer reception even if the basic noise level actually goes up a little bit um, if you have something, if you do medium wave DXing, if you want to just have fun playing around with a, a cute little antenna, you know what? It's worth it. Uh, this antenna is worth it the price. Um, and a lot of you have been saying, yeah, it'd be cool if they had a medium wave, uh, a long wave loop or a short wave loop, or yeah, it'd be cool. But this is the medium wave one and uh, very directional. I mean, it's even better than the uh, ferret most of the time. In separating two stations on the same frequency uh, a very very effective and I'll be posting more videos of this so my overall um, review of this is that it's a very good performer requires no batteries doesn't work with all the radios all the time and uh, even though sometimes it will amplify the noise sources around you it usually amplifies the signal from a station even more and if I had one complaint is how tricky it is sometimes to tune the frequency you're listening on with this tuning dial and the higher and what I've noticed is the higher the frequency you're actually listening to the more difficult it is to find the exact spot where you're actually going to be on the frequency that you're listening to um, be careful also of spurious 
um, noises coming from strong AM medium wave stations. If you got one of those, uh, you know, some of those really strong ones not far away, when you'll tune in to that frequency, even if the radio is tuned somewhere else, there will be an interaction of interference because this loop will react so strongly to such a strong signal. It will actually, of course, couple it to your radio. So you got to be careful with that. And you might need to, you know, move it in such a way that it nulls a local station in order to work better. But the uh, overall performance is quite good. Like I said, a little finicky. Um, where I'm not super impressed, and that will be probably uh, maybe a game changer for some of you. The direction finding of this antenna is amazing. So for that, it's worth it if you DX at night, for example, and listen to faraway stations, because you'll be able to separate easily two stations or three stations on the same frequency, as long as there's a difference in, in their location. So you'll be able, able to turn around the antenna and null one, get another one stronger. Um, but this antenna will not necessarily, I, I don't see that much of an improvement in, in skywave reception from stations at night, for example. So it might not be the best antenna for uh, nighttime skywave reception of medium wave stations. Um, so that is something to note. Daytime reception. If, if you know, for example, if you're living in an area where daytime AM reception is very weak because stations are really far away, this will help you pull these stations. I, I guarantee it. On daytime reception, this is a killer antenna. Um, at nighttime, like I said, with stations coming through Skywave, it's not as it, it will amplify some of them, but it's not as good. And what you'll probably be using more is its directional finding capabilities. So overall, it's a great add-on to any um, shack. If you have portable radios and one medium wave DX a little bit, this is cool. It's fun to play with, and it's actually very beautiful also, and not very expensive. Hey, if you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed my review of the Texan AN200 medium wave loop antenna.